enough for a foul, but you often see players go down whether there's enough for a foul or not. That's a good ball on the turn to Ismail Assar. Ismail Assar is headed away from McCallum. Bio's in the middle. Must be. Watford lead. Vacuum Bio for Watford. Well, an extraordinary breakaway goal for the visitors. Next season and the season after, see which ones can cope with it. Here's Aaron Bent, his cross might find Greaves, oh, what a strike! What a goal, what a strike from Jack Greaves! Great work down the right-hand side from first Balogun, and then Aaron Bent's cross. But Jack Greaves, it fell nicely for him, but goodness me, he had some work to do. But what a finish! The crowd on their feet. Three and charges over the halfway line. Looks to release Mateus Martins. Martins into the penalty area. He shoots. Great save from the goalkeeper. And a Yano! What a debut! What a story! 17 year old Toby Adeyemo holds his head in his hands. He can't believe what he's just done. He's put Watford ahead. Five minutes after coming onto the pitch. What a moment for the young man. Looks for Martins. Gelder intercepts, but Ferreira does the same for Watford and charges forward for the Hornets. Tra Ferreira shoots towards goal! Oh, how about that? Tra Ferreira! Up from right back, joining in. And rather than look for help out wide, went for goal himself. Low to Johansson's right. Here's uh, Bianca Baptiste into the box. Bianca Baptiste into the top corner. How about that for the Hornets? Well, it's not quite a three-pointer, but it's the perfect start for this cup tie. A fourth goal of the season for Bianca Baptiste. Burst into the penalty area and slammed it into the top corner. Watford 1, MK Dons 0. Into the 90th minute, the Hornets 4-1 up. And here's Rossiter, the flag stays down. Annie Rossiter, well that is a sensational way for the Hornets to seal their path into the semi-final. Annie Rossiter, what, 30 yards out into the top corner. It's 5-1 and Watford are through to the semis.